All right, guys, I'm going to show you everything you need to know to get started with Pro Tools. The first thing you need to do is come down here, click on the Pro Tools icon. It'll take a second to load up, so we'll just let it do that. All right, and we are going to create a blank session. And uh, I like to use Waves. You can use AIFF if you like. Bit depth, we'll keep that at 24. Uh, I have an external clock, so it's set to 48. And for the I.O. settings, I'm going to use, I like to change it to stereo mix because I'm not, I don't want to use last use because I'm not sure who used it last and how, what their settings were. So we'll change it to stereo mix. Click OK. And let's save this as getting started. All right, so this is what a brand new Pro Tools session looks like. And go up to the track menu right here to create a new track. One, I'm going to do mono audio track. There it is. And now that we have our new track, you're going to want to get sound into Pro Tools. And to do that, you're going to click on the audio input path selector, which is right here. Just click on it and it'll give you some choices under interface. Choose the one uh, that your mic is plugged into. So I only have a couple of choices. You'll have more. Usually this will be A1 for you. So change it to whatever's going to bring uh, whatever your mic's plugged into. Now, if we hit track record enable, you'll see, hey, hey, there we go. We're bringing sound into Pro Tools. To record, all you do is hit this red record enable button and then push play. And we're recording. So if you uh, watch this right over here, you'll see it draw out the waveforms. And uh, there you go. That's recording in Pro Tools. We'll t take this weird <laughs> effect off my voice. All right, now this is the edit window, but there's another window that you're gonna use a, a lot. It's called the mix window. So if we go to window, click on mix, this is where you have your fader. So this is how we control the volume for the track we just recorded. And we're recording. So if you, uh, there you go. Watch this right. There's also a few other options on here, which we'll get into. And that is basically all you need to know to get started in Pro Tools. The rest of this stuff is just icing on the cake.